These were the weirdest fossils of a theropod dinosaur that anyone had found so far. It had a super long, narrow jaw and long protruding dorsal spines down its back. Hence, Spinosaurus. In 1936, Ernst Stromer made a reconstruction of Spinosaurus, trying to make sense of all the bones that were ever collected so far. We still didn't have a face, but we knew it had a long, strong chin, some conical pointy teeth, and it was a tall spined theropod. By 1984, researchers were already proposing that Spinosaurus could have had a more croc like snout to catch fish. And all of that was confirmed when Baryonyx walkeri was discovered. Lots of the skull was discovered, including the little crest up on its forehead. It gave us a glimpse at the true face of Spinosaurus. In 2018, Dr. Don Henderson decided to test the semi-aquatic hypothesis and created a digital model. This paper really suggests that Spinosaurus was a disaster in the water, that if it wasn't constantly moving forward, then it would roll and tip over. In 2025, we get Jurassic World Rebirth, and they're sticking to the aquatic theory. There's been so much interpretation of Spinosaurus and the specimens we've got of it. I'm glad we don't know what Spinosaurus looked like for sure.